Hopefully you like Hondas because in this video we're picking up a new project, a Honda Civic for under a thousand dollars. So let's kick it off. Uh, I was working earlier today on a truck there in the garage. I hopped down to take a little breather in the Eames, the rep Eames, whatever, and uh, hopped on Facebook Marketplace, just started perusing, browsing as I do, looking for deals and found this. Uh, Civic, I'll throw up the ad on the screen as always right here, and uh, saw it. Thousand bucks for a clean EM1, or it's not an SI, but it's an EX, so it has that VTEC. It's manual, it's got uh, high miles, but normal for the year. It's not rusted, and it's a thousand bucks! So we gotta go jump on it. I immediately hit him up. He had just posted it like half an hour uh, prior, I believe. And so it's not been on the market too long. It's less than 30 minutes away from me. And I was like, yo, I want to come see this. I'm super interested. What are the quirks? What are the issues? Uh, if they're not too big, if it's something that I want to take on or gamble with, like not a bad clutch or needs a new motor, but something smaller than that, I'm going to jump on it. So he said it has a miss. The steering wheel is loose and something else, but it's a clean, rust-free looking aftermarket wheels, manual E K coop for a grand in this market in 2022. So we got to go right now. We got to jump on this thing. Lickety split, snappity snap. Uh, and we are taking the newer Civic to go up there. So we got the essentials here, the wallet, the bank bag, and the uh, newer Civ key leaving immediately so we can get there. Hopping in the much nicer, much newer Honda Civ right here. Hopefully she's unlocked. Yep. You know, we keep it uh, unlocked here in the Midwest. Fire her up, get that cold start in. With the ricer exhaust and all, Sparco lanyard, Sparco hoodie, and getting back to the roots with the Honda game. So as we leave the house with this little fart box that I'm sure you can hear in the background, uh, I'm just so excited, so ecstatic right now because we're getting back to the roots. If you know me, um, past a lot of like the truck content and other stuff. You know that I started off with a love and passion for Hondas. Now it's gross and I feel guilty saying it because uh, they're so dogged on by the community. I gotta get my seatbelt on. People hate Hondas in the car world, but I love them. That's what I grew up on. They were my favorite and I'm just a ricer at heart. I've had a couple SIs that I've showcased on the channel and some even Civic um, that looks pretty hot, that doesn't look rusted out uh, to show you that A, you can have fun, B, you can build cars frugally and profitably, and C, you can uh, start off doing this whole automotive journey, be an enthusiast, be an automotive entrepreneur without that much uh, resource, without that much capital to get started.
no co-pilot. I don't have one. Uh, I have friends, access to friends, whatever, to go pick this thing up. But on deals like this, where you know that you have to get it, or else the deal could go, you gotta go with cash, check it out, buy it, negotiate, do whatever, uh, get the key, get the title, and come back later. Because otherwise, I wouldn't be able to get this thing for uh, at all today. And I don't wanna run the risk of someone else hopping on it before I get to it. Uh, anyway, we're just a few minutes out. The snow isn't bad anymore. It was just some weird gust of flurries. Um, anyway, we have uh, 0.5 miles till we turn, so I gotta pay attention to the nav because we're almost at this guy's house. Here she is in the treed lane. Sick. This is a nice little spot. Very Midwest dreamy, I would say. Okay, so homeboy so home is here. He's coming out. I'm going to park and, uh, yeah, put you in my pocket. I've had it for like five years. Uh, yeah, and you said you were dailying it, right? Yep, okay. Is there uh, exhaust? Yep. Okay. Do you know if it's a head gasket? I or don't know. No I idea? Don't know about it. Okay. Never overheated at all. Yeah. You know. Uh, is it fine to start up and drive, though, just yep. down the road? Yep. Okay. So we got a second gear start. That steering is big time loose. So it's not flashing yet, but we aren't under any level of load. And oh my gosh. Yeah, I don't know if it's... <laughs> oh man, the steering is a death wish. Holy crap. Maybe it's just the guy's driveway and whatnot, but the, the shifter is like sloppy jalopy. I think that might be in gear, I can't tell. Anyway, I'm gonna focus on driving. Okay. Yeah, you can feel it missing at oh, lower RPMs. The scarier thing is getting dragged all around the road with the steering. <laughs> I love this hood rat stuff, oh my gosh. Yeah, there's no reaction. I just hope there's no traffic. We'll see. Uh, I'll try to get her going on the highway. There is a horrible, and I mean a horrid, leak in the engine. Um, so the the whole thing is covered in oil. It'll be a great project. That's, that's what I'm getting at. It is missing pretty bad. Under load in third, I think. It's the feeling of torque steer with no power. That's what it's driving like. Just for anyone who's curious, here's the shifter, just flopping and slopping. But the clutch seems good. Second gear. 
I mean, I'm definitely interested. I just don't want to get buried in it. Yeah, that um, comes from the overflow. That the guy offered me 12, you know. Yeah. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, <laughs> I'm so stoked. So stoked. Let's freaking go. I got it for 650. Uh, we just did the title, clean title. Uh, got the keys. I'm leaving because I got a bolt ASAP ski. ASAP Rocky. Anyway, we're going. Uh, we'll have to pick this up later because I have to go get a minivan right now. Uh, that was planned out. This was short notice. And we are bolting. Real quick, uh, you probably heard the negotiation or maybe I'll throw it in now. I can't really share any of it because that guy was swearing every... There was a clean word every five words probably. It was just... M, F, F, and B, blah, 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 blah. And anyway, uh, he had it. He was driving it. He got a new Duramax, um, which is sweet. So we were talking about cars and trucks. Um, anyway, he said he had someone that offered him 1100 bucks. Let me get it right now. He said, I, I got a guy on the way, which is me. Uh, he was like, 1200 bucks. I'll come get it. I don't care about the engine. I'm doing a swap. I just want a clean shell. I really don't care about anything because I'm replacing it all. And he said, nope, uh, I got a guy on the way. He said, you know what, dude, uh, I'll do 700 right now for you. I shot him at five. Like he showed me his phone. He was getting blown up with messages. Um, like I said, he had it up not long at all. Parked at his pending immediately. And then uh, I snagged it. I got it for 650, offered him five, uh, offered him six, and then met in the middle of 650. I could have pressed really hard for six, but I'm happy with it, and I had, I had to go get this van and get home uh, immediately. But we'll pick this up later. I don't know if it'll be late. It was cool to see the two black Civics together. Um, and, yeah, I think that's about it. I'll hop off for now until I go pick her up and then keep you posted. Hopefully I can even make it home safe because something is funny with that front end. So here you can see we got a clean Indiana title. There's the VIN. Uh, no title brand and on something like this. I'm sure that there's some funny business. The Carfax isn't going to read well because it's been exempted out on the mileage, which anything older gets exempted regardless. But we'll see if it's rolled back. Even if it is, I don't care. It was 650 bucks. Uh, it's common for Hondas to have been rolled back, but it's also like it's got over 200 K. It's just a base or not a base, but an EX. Um, so it's not something that like someone's gonna try to derive a lot of value out of, but they could have swapped the cluster. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna run the Carfax right now just to see if it's a clean, not really rusty, no accidents EX with sunroof and everything. Like I just scored, even if it's not, I just scored. Uh, so I'm gonna throw on the screen recorder, do a, a scan of the VIN and we'll see together uh, what this thing's history is. So good news and bad news, here's the Carfax. Uh, we have four accidents that have been claimed, maybe some that have not. Uh, it has that weird front end thing, a little side swipe, no passenger mirror, the big dent uh, in the tailgate or in the trunk, whatever. Uh, we got that, uh, but we have probably actual miles, which is good. So obviously it's exempted. We can't be 100% sure, but um, based on the chronology of the miles, it looks correct. It's not like a low mileage car, so it doesn't really matter. Um, someone's probably going to K swap it or B, B16, whatever, um, that thing, but it's a true EX, um, few owners, few accidents, what Honda doesn't, um, but it's not been stolen. It's not been totaled or anything, which is a, a plus, a little saving grace of sorts. Um, did I waste 20 bucks on a Carfax? Probably. Did I do it for all of you for the content? Yeah, pretty much. So uh, we got a $2,500 history based value. Woohoo! As if it matters, uh, this is way too niche of a car for it to, to be impacted too much. But um, I'm stoked. I got a good deal. Actually, signed off now. So it's the next day. Uh, I haven't yet picked up the Civic. However, I am driving by a junkyard uh, that tends to have quite a bit of inventory to look uh, on eBay and just filed by the closest first. Well, it turns out the junkyard here seems to have two of them according to eBay, so we're gonna go there. 
Uh, it's 30 bucks plus 15 for shipping, but I think they just do $25 minimums. I'll pay in person with cash or card. So hopefully we can snag it for 25 bucks, get that mirror, and it'll look like a complete uh, car again. At the junkyard, uh, two things, 50 bucks, 55 um, for the mirror and the coolant overflow because there is none, it's a freaking water bottle. Um, so those are the two things that I know that I need now, but as I tear into the, the project more, once I get it home, uh, I'm sure I'll find more, but luckily they have a couple of these uh, cars, so any universal parts like that should work, hopefully, um, and we can get something sorted, squared away, get it fixed, get it nice. Pulling up now, again, to the Civic. Finally getting the time to take her. My phone is low. These roads are icy and it's dark. I am not gonna be filming uh, unless anything dramatic happens. So we're actually cruising okay, uh, at least right now. It's not doing as bad as I had expected. The miss is definitely bad down low, but uh, revving it out, it was okay, I think it went into VTEC, but I'm not trying to harp on this thing before I check the fluids or do anything else. Let's go, baby! She's gonna blow! Third gear pull. A little outfit change, as you can see. We got the Honda hat, the OG one that I got with the purchase of my S2000, and I swapped the keychain from the uh, from Mike Civic, the 16 that's sitting out there to this guy, $650 said. So we are full racer now. I'm so stoked. This should be getting warm and then we can go out. So here's the car. Uh, I don't think I actually gave you a rundown of what this thing looks like or just a general overview yet because it's all been so uh, fast paced and quick moving, but generally this is what it looks like. And then I can start pointing out all of the imperfections and defects here in a second. So starting off, we have a nice little side swipe right here. It uh, took off the mirror. We have that dirt uh, scuff. Hopefully all of this can buff out. Thanks for the spotlight, morning light. Anyway, uh, we have that on the side, need a new mirror, a little bit of rust there. A little bit of rust here, dent, scratches, completely shot tire uh, on the outside here, which is a bummer. Uh, he said it was newer. And then no fastener here, some fogged over headlights. The hood is in good shape. The bumper could use a respray. That's my plan and my intention to do. We have some NK wheels. Let's see what size are they? Some 16s with weird bulbous tires, I think. Um, so the backs are good, the fronts, fronts are okay. Well, that one's not. Um, it was fine to drive on. Okay, moving around the rest of the car, you can see it's a true sunroof car. The paint on the roof is in good shape. It's not really like dinged up, which is good. We have this tiny bit of rust here, which is killing me because otherwise it's clean. Like. We have this and we have that, but the rest of the car isn't rotted out uh, for being a Midwest car. We have paint fade on the top of the wing, so the plan is gonna be to sand this down, respray the wing, the deck lid is fine. Um, we'll have to hit this, sand it down back to bare metal so it doesn't keep rusting, get the Honda badge, some crusty tail lights, but I don't think we're doing anything there. Uh, this rust is not from this car but we have the exhaust that looks goofy. Uh, what else, what else, what else? Moving on to the interior. I wanna figure out a more long-standing permanent solution for the window. Uh, we have this weird carpet on the floor. That's pretty nasty. Uh, the passenger seat's in good shape. I actually didn't even look back here, but all of this appears to be in good shape as well. We have a scratcher, we could be a winner. A mega millions winner. Anyway, we got that. Some ash, some allegedly Mountain Dew, a very sloppy shifter. So that's in gear. It'll go all the way over. In gear, torn shift boot. Um, I didn't get the radio to work. What else, what else? 
the lug key and lock and oh the uh, honda emblem for the back that's good news uh let's see if there are any other prizes in here nope and then for the engine bay the heart of this thing decent uh decent hood area battery with the tie down what the heck how has this survived so long with the tie down some corrosion on the end uh, there's the fuse box. We have no overflow except for this electrical taped water bottle. A disgusting intake that is possibly melting this. I don't know exactly what causes what. He said there was a little coolant leak, so he put on the new hose, just hose clamped it. Horrible leakage here. I don't know exactly where all of the leakage is in the engine bay, but you can see but you can see if I zoom in, it is just covered in oil, horrifically. So that's no good, no power steering, um, no dipstick really. I think we might have access to it, but she's rough, she needs love, she's a project. But, oh baby, we got the $650 sieve. So the interior isn't that bad, as you just saw, just a small tear on the outside bolster of the driver's seat, uh, and then just needs a general vacuum and clean up, and then we should be good. I might try to fiddle around with the radio, get that working uh, if it's easy, but there's not too much to do there, and then we can uh, start doing the body and the paintwork. So that's it for this video. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, drop a like and be sure to subscribe to stay tuned to what happens to this little EK Coupe. We have the body to work on, the mechanical parts, and then any sort of modifications that we end up doing. If you have any ideas, feel free to drop them down below in the comments. And, and of course, if you're interested in learning how to get your next project car for free or drive literally anything at no net cost or even profitably, then be sure to hit the link down below. With that in mind, I will see you on the next one. Peace.